Hey friends, welcome to another video here on our channel. I have my middle daughter, Kaylani, here showing you four styles to try out for the month of September. But before we go any further into this video, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. If you are new here, come join the family to all of my returning subscribers. Hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend. It's nice to see you once again. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So Kaylani was freshly washed a couple of days ago and I just threw it into some plaits and I am now about to restyle it so she can be ready for the new school week, starting it off on a fresh, beautiful Monday. So I'm parting her hair straight down the middle and if you are new here, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know we love clean parts around here. To achieve a clean part, all I do is trace the part with some gel and then go back over it to make it nice and clean. Once I have that cl that part clean, it may not be straight, we're gonna move into doing a half moon part right here in the front to kind of create like a small bang. I'm gonna rubber band that off with a red elastic rubber band. Now, elastic rubber bands are known to pop. My secret to the trade is to double up on the bands to kind of help give it strength in numbers right it usually lasts me at least two three days before they eventually pop on me because they just they're just not meant for longevity unfortunately we've been getting a lot of frequently asked questions on our Instagram page where people are wondering where I purchased the girls elastic bands and they're wondering if they do not pop or not and I have yet to come across elastic bands colorful rubber bands that do not pop as easily as the black ones. I don't know if it's the material or adding that color into the rubber that just messes and compromises the strength of the rubber band, but I haven't found any yet. So that is why I like to double up on the rubber bands to kind of help it a little bit. It usually saves me at least two to three days. And usually by that third day, I'm reselling their hair anyway. All of the girls elastic bands and hair accessories can be found on our Amazon storefront. We have everything that I use tagged and on our Amazon, which is linked on our bio website. And it's also provided down below in the description box you can shop the hair products brushes combs blow dryers hair bows or rubber bands you name it anything that I usually talk about here on our channel is always going to be tagged and purchased through our Amazon I crisscrossed the plaits and added them to a bigger ponytail so I can plait everything up into one big braid. And then I'm going to wrap that braid around at the base of the ponytail to create this cute little bun. Try not to make it too tight. It can cause a lot of tension. I added some hair bobbles to accessorize and that is it for this look. The style lasted her three days and it was super cute. She got a ton of compliments on it. Now it's time to move on to style number two. Now this style is going to be a restyle from the first style that I just showed you guys. So this is midweek through the school week. So it's a Wednesday or Thursday and I decided to take all the braids and plaits out and now I'm going to restyle it into a bun mohawk. Something that was going to be super easy and wasn't going to require me to add a, a whole lot of additional products. Her hair is already a little bit dirty. She's been playing, sweating and running around having a great first week of school. So I wanted this to be something that would just carry her out for Thursday and Friday. So I'm starting off doing a half circle part right in the front and I'm going to rubber band that off. Most of the time when I'm restyling Kaylani's hair, I don't add additional product. Her hair already is in need of a wash and sometimes adding additional product can make her hair even more greasy and a little bit more unmanageable. So the most that I will add is maybe hair gel to her edges to lay them down and some water just to help with managing her hair into a ponytail. For this bun mohawk, I am going to create four sections. The first section was that half circle part, and this is the second section where I did a part from ear to ear going across the top of the head, adding gel to those edges so we can lay it down and put it into a ponytail and a little bit of water just to make it manageable. I am using black rubber bands because I want these rubber bands to carry her out for the rest of the week. I don't want her to come home, and half of her mohawk is no longer a mohawk. For the third section, I'm going to go right in the middle of the head to do another kind of half circle part right in the back of the head to secure that. And then that very last piece at the very bottom is going to form our fourth section. Now that all of my sections have been rubber band off, I'm going to loosely two strand twist 
each ponytail. Now I said loosely because I want the buns to kind of have like a messy look to them. Her hair is a, on, you know, a little old and dirty. And to be honest, when it comes to Kehlani's hair, her older hair is a whole lot more manageable and easier to style than her clean, freshly washed hair. I know it's a little weird. I don't know if it has something to do with the texture of her hair. Kehlani saw what I was doing and wanted to give it a try. So I allowed her to do the front ponytail and she was struggling with that little two strand but I figured she got to start somewhere on her own hair is always the best and I'm also in the middle of teaching my oldest daughter how to care for her entire mane's worth of hair so you know start them early so she went ahead and began wrapping her ponytail around she struggled a little bit with that but she actually did pretty good better than i thought she didn't lose her cool like her older sister older sister would have definitely like given up and be like mommy please help she would have came with the little puppy dog eyes and looking pitiful kelani was determined to get that ponytail to form a bun i did end up fixing it for her but you know practice makes perfect i'm pretty sure she'll have another try at it again so once all of her buns are secured i'm then going to add in some cute little flower clips because you know we got to accessorize the accessories of a hairstyle definitely can make or break it absolutely this is going to complete this look for this style and we're going to move into the third style of this video here kaylani is freshly washed it is now the weekend so i'm restyling her for a second week of school so this is sunday night and for this look she decided to pick out a style that she wanted to try she said mommy all i want is two buns in the front and i want the rest down so we are going to be doing a half style ladies and gentlemen but you know my kids give me basic instructions so i decided to add my own little razzle dazzle on top so she is going to get the two messy buns in the front but i'm going to add some braids in and of course some beautiful hair clips to kind of accentuate and accessorize the style now, if you are not the best at braiding, you can skip this step and that is perfectly fine. Now it is time to place everything into the ponytail and I'm using a black rubber band to secure everything. The braid is also going to be attached to the ponytail and then I'm gonna show you guys how I do my messy buns. To create the perfect messy bun, what I like to do is pull the hair halfway through and at curly piece at the end I'm going to leave out dangling then I fold that hair in half and bring the rubber band back around and hold it there don't pull it all the way through fluff it up play around with it it's supposed to be messy and effortless so if it doesn't look perfect that's great secure it using some bobby pins and then of course i'm adding in those beautiful hair clips curls in the back i went in with the pattern curl gel and all i did was smooth that through her hair and then go in with a boar bristle brush to kind of clump those curls together and i'm allow those to air dry and they should be beautiful spirals in the morning and this is it for this style now this style only lasted her two days because her curls start to tangle really badly so we are moving on to style number four the last style for this video where i am restyling her hair i've applied the design essentials leave-in conditioner to her hair and this is going to help me with detangling once i have her hair all detangled it's now time to do a rubber band style and we're going to be doing some crisscrossing so i started the very back layer with the four individual ponytails all rubber band off using colorful elastic bands and then i'm going to plait every last one of them Once I have all four of those plaits braided up, I'm then going to do a, a second layer row of uh, ponytails and I'm going to do some connect the dots. So the two on the very far right are going to crisscross with the two at the very top and same thing on the other side. Now you see I have a X formed on one side. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side and form an X there. And then everything is going to connect at the very top into one ponytail. Once I have all of the rubber bands secured in the back, I'm then going to start working on the front part. 
I'm going to place everything into one big ponytail where I will form yet another top knot bun. Now this time, instead of plaiting or twisting the ponytail, I decided to just simply wrap it around the base of the ponytail. So this just requires me to kind of just roll the hair into itself and then just constantly keep rolling it around that base. Again, be careful not to make this bun too tight. It can cause a lot of tension. And Kehlani is really good in letting me know, mommy, uh-uh, that ain't comfortable. Then I'm adding in, of course, my butterfly clips because they have been the top accessory for me lately. And I'm placing those at the base of the bun and she is done. This style lasted her for the entire school week. The rubber bands did really good on holding up. And that is going to complete this video for you guys. I I greatly appreciate you guys joining us on a, another one. I hope you all have had a wonderful first week of school. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.